Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. If you play around with LED lights long enough um, with color casts, you'll come across a concept called chroma clipping. This is where one channel of your sensor has more light that can hold. It clips, but because it's only one channel, you get a weird um, banding out or peaking in just say the red or the blue or the green channel while the rest of the um, image is correctly exposed. This happened to me a couple of years ago on my web series Silent City. We used a nautical flare um, to illuminate the last scene and the red epic that we were using as our A camera couldn't hold the exposure. We got this really crazy effect um, where the characters faces um, kind of like looked like they've been posterized, cut out. This can happen even with a correctly exposed shot when you're using um, RGB lights because the R, G or B of your sensor is getting more light than it can hold and it clips. It can't hold any more information so it goes to pure red or blue or green while the rest of the image remains untouched. This can be really difficult to deal with because if you use a light meter or a waveform to do your exposure, these tools will tell you that your image is correctly exposed, but in actuality, you're losing an entire channel and ending up with a kind of unusable shot. Digital Sputnix lights get around this because they were designed specifically, not for the eye, but for the camera sensor. They have the ability to go to 100% red, green, blue, or any color you want, and it will fit in with the exposure of the light. It also lets you go beyond 100% to 130, 140% if you really wanna push uh, super saturated. But these lights understand that um, you just can't keep increasing the saturation because you'll end up breaking the image. Here's an example of um, the DS1 through a light blade at 100% red, um, metered correctly for uh, ISO 400 and F2. Here's the same example um, with a regular RGB 1x1 one one at the same F2 brightness. You can see here how the red channel is pretty much totally gone. The easiest way around this would be to shoot your footage that you're shooting, then bring it into your grading program of choice, say Resolve, and add the lot that you want and check that it's um, not going to clip. The digital Sputnik lights have become the light of choice on some high-end feature films um, like Rogue One, like the new Star Wars TV series, a bunch of other features for this exact reason. They are built by colorists um, to be tools on set for adding color and light. That's a quick look at chroma clipping or color clipping and the digital Sputnik lights. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your questions in the comments, um, check the links for the description, and I will see you next time.